Blood pressure control is, it's not hard to do for most people. Usually just a little tiny bit of medication, if all the natural treatments fail, if all the natural efforts of diet and exercise fail, a little bit of medication is usually all you need. But sometimes medications themselves cause high blood pressure. So birth control pills, steroids, uh, any kind of drug for arthritis or achiness or pain, even Motrin, surprisingly, just ibuprofen alone, that affects the kidney in a way that causes the body to retain fluid and makes the blood pressure grow, go up. This is why it's so great to be able to get all your information together, get all your ducks in a row, make a list, go to your doctor and say to him, hey, look, I'm concerned about these things with my blood pressure. Maybe instead of taking a medication, we could get off of this one. Does that make sense? Oh, you didn't know I was taking an over-the-counter pain medicine? Oh, good. Stop that one. Let's not do blood pressure medicine first thing. Let's think about how we can work together to create an environment where you're managing your own health in a real high degree, especially blood pressure, because blood pressure is one of those things where you hardly know what's going on. Your doctor wants to do the best for you to get you on some treatment that's going to make your blood pressure go down. But if you can avoid taking a medication that makes your blood pressure go up, Wow, that's brilliant. And you can do that with natural treatments to address your pain, possibly what you're taking a steroid for with allergy. There's lots of things that you can do. I wanna give you back the power so you can take care of your own health. When it comes to blood pressure, it's critical. Your doctor's gonna to need to know these things, so you make a list. Get well informed, put together your part so you can share with your doctor and you can get your blood pressure under control in a way that's safe and natural because we're better together.